What's happening guys? Welcome back to the channel and to another episode in this saga of Project T5. So if you've not been watching all the videos, you're not up to speed. We've had a suspected head gasket going on for a few weeks now or a few episodes. Um, I was never 100% convinced it was because there were a few other things to try and change before we got to the point of changing the head gasket. Um, we've changed all of those and it's now, yeah, this is now just time to take the head off and just see what's going on. Um, so, quick list of things we've changed. Change the radiator, we've changed the thermostat, the water pump, um, the header tank cap as well, because that was a common fault. Um, I've had a few people on the last video say it could be the EGR cooler. This engine's that old and sort of an early one. It hasn't got an EGR cooler, it's just got a pipe from the exhaust to the EGR valve itself. Um, so, really, next thing is just whip the head out yeah as much as i don't want to do it and it's more money and it's going to cost a fair bit and a bit of effort to get it out it's just the next thing let's just get it out i can't see it being majorly difficult there's we're going to take all of this bits out inlet and exhaust manifold off probably get all these out of the way uh, in airbox out because we're going to, have to take all of the cam belt off pretty much exactly what we did when we did the cam belts all of that lot's got to come off uh, rock cover off. Just start unbolting things really to, to get down to start getting the head off. Um, again, I'll try and document it as best as I can and explain what's what, but I've never done it on one of these before, so I'm sort of learning as I'm going along as well. Um, I was going to take the whole front end off just to make it easy to film, but I don't want to waste time and everything, so I think I'm just going to try and do it through the hole and try and get it out. So, I suppose there's not really any much uh, point in waiting around anymore. Let's just get on, get this head off. Let's drain the coolant for the fourth time. Trying to find some balance in my... So you've not seen where I've drained the coolant from before, underneath, uh, fan switch in the bottom of the radiator, a little clip comes out and um, pull that out, all the coolant will come out. I'll put a link in the corner, wherever it is, to that episode so you can see it. The inlet manifold off so on the back of that you've got six bolts that go into the block one more bit off so on the exhaust manifold you've got eight nuts and what look like brass washers as well i am surprised they're just undone but they actually aren't too tight so we'll whip all these off now as well so we've got quite a bit off now there's a bit of a big space so if you've not watched the other video, I would highly recommend going back and watching the video that I did on the cam belt. Just click in one of these corners and there'll be a link to it. Um, I'd give that a watch because you've got to do that to get to this stage. 
So looking down here, if you've watched it, you'll it will all be uh, familiar. We've removed all of this area. We've got the cam belt. We've got the cam belt locking pin in the top, and we've got cam belt locked at the bottom as well, all in the correct place. So now we can undo the tensioner, uh, take the tension off the belt, and remove the belt, and then just continue working round. We've got a bit more, bit better access to the turbo now as well um, to try and get really everything off and undone. So oil's drained. Now we've got to undo the oil feed the top of the turbo which I think is 16, no 17. Which is gonna be fun. So progress has been made we've got the exhaust manifold and turbo all off and resting at the back we've got the coolant junction off and we've got the vacuum pump off as well um, and it can undo the dipstick uh, bolt now I think then we're going to slacken it and take the cam belt off and then I think we've just got to start taking the head bolts out and it should then come off so I think let's keep going Right guys, that's everything disconnected. Um, now it's time to undo the head bolts. Massive shout out to Mikey at Transport HQ for getting me out of the shit because my spline bit is that long and you need one that long. So massive shout out to Mikey for lending me this to get the head off. I've ordered one again, but it won't come next week. Been to Alfred's and they didn't have any in stock. So yeah, big shout out to Mikey, thank you very much. Let's get this undone now. Mr. Haynes manual says, using a multi-spline tool, under the cylinder head bolts, working from the outside end evenly and gradually. So, let's make a start undoing them. Right then guys, welcome back to a new day. Um, so last night, I managed to get the head off, as you can see here, um, but ran out of time, we were going out, and it took quite a long time to get all the oil off me, so good job that I finished when I did. But anyway, new day, let's show you what we've found. So on my little table here in front of the van, we've got the head and the gasket and turbo. Um, going onto it, the turbo and the carbon build up and everything inside. Not actually that bad. Everything seems to be okay. I've had a play. There's no flat end float in the turbo or anything, so hopefully that's all right. Uh, but head, here it is. Um, now, I'm obviously no expert on it all, but to me, there's nothing blatantly obvious as I expected to do, sort of as of blowing through the gasket or anything. But I mean, it doesn't look amazing. Um, I'm not 100% sure. It's got all this all over the gasket. Um, and I think it should have some form of a sealant on the gasket when it's new, um, but it's all in—it's gone all in the waterways. There was, there was this was, this was all covered over. I'll put a picture in now of me peeling a bit of it off. But this was all covered completely over. This has got it folding into it as well. Um, it's got a bit of the same. It's the block. It had a little bit of the same on one of the water jackets in the block as well. Um, now I don't know if someone's poured some of that bloody rad weld or something in it to sort a problem out, maybe this problem, a while ago. Um, 
I'm not really sure, but yeah, we're, we're gonna have to try and clean it all anyway. Gasket is here, so again, there's nothing blindingly obvious, I don't think, unless, I mean, you guys might pick up on something that I've not, but there's nothing blindingly obvious that's point jumping out to me. It doesn't look amazing, no, but it's an old gasket. Now, I've not seen anywhere I'm not sure if it would have, but I've not seen any VW markings on it anyway, so I don't know if it would have had that on from the factory or not, so whether it's been changed or not, I don't know. But, heads off, um, there's no point in me trying to inspect it or anything, so I don't really know what I'm doing. So now it's off, We will. Uh, I'm going to get it sent off somewhere to get it pressure tested, crack tested and um, skimmed. Now, I removed all this on Friday, yesterday, today's Saturday video will be out tomorrow which is Sunday so it's Sunday for you guys um, so by the time I'm gonna get round to looking into or calling anyone to try and get it sorted you lot have already seen it so if anybody has got any recommendations for where I could take the head to near or close to Lutterworth in South Leicestershire um, please do drop them in the comments um, I've got a few people I can call to see where they take theirs but please do suggest them um, or if anyone does it Please let yourself know and we'll have a chat and see, uh, see if I can't get it to you. We'll get it sorted. Because um, I want to get this done, get it right. Um, so when it's all back, we'll put it all back in. I'm going to replace the, the head bolts. are going to be replaced with PD150 because apparently they're just a bit better, a bit stronger. Um, obviously all new gaskets, then uh, oil, coolant, all of that lot. Um, hopefully it goes together, back together as easy as it came apart because it wasn't actually that bad to get to part. It, I really didn't, the most difficult parts I just probably saw in the video, I was pretty much had my head down the back of the engine. I was trying to get the um, oil drain from the turbo off and the bottom mounting bracket for the turbo where it bolts into the block, which they were the most difficult parts of the whole thing. Um, this might not have been the most informative exactly step-by-step -step how to again, and I know I say this in all videos, but it's not an exact step-by-step -step how to. You watch it, it might give you a bit of an idea of where to go. Um, I did have a Haynes manual out as well because why wouldn't you? They just, they explain everything and they do help you along. Like I said, do give us a comment, please do like the video. Um, it really does help with um, YouTube, the algorithm and all of that lot. We are closing on 12,000 subscribers as well, which is amazing. Thank you all so much. So that's it then guys, that's that one done. Hopefully the head's repairable and we can get it all back on, get it all running nice again, get it off to a new owner. Thank you all so much for watching. Until next time, enjoy.